Okay, everybody, we are at our first stop for some all-you-can-eat bimbimbap. Woo! We're actually in Hongdae area right now, so it's like there's so many people. I love this area. So apparently at this place, you can get as much ingredients for your bimbimbap as possible. And they do have instructions here in case, you know, you're wondering how to do it. But we're just going to go downstairs and experience it. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so this is the machine, and there's instructions in English for for how to use it, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. One ticket. Okay, 7,000. Let me get the money. We are inside the first restaurant for some oh you can eat bim bim bap. The setup is really simple. This seems just like a local place that people go to to get their bim bim bap fix. This dish is really simple. It's rice with vegetable. I know, and you just mix it all together. It's one of the most colorful dishes, and I think it's actually pretty healthy as well. When I get at Korean barbecue, it usually comes sizzling in a pot, and you kind of stir it all together. But here, it's just basically rice with a bunch of veggie options. Of course, what makes it so flavorful are the paste here. So this is the gochujang sauce. It's basically a chili paste. Um, you can also get like the fermented soybean sauce right here. I just want to try the two paste first before stirring it. Oh, that red sauce, definitely very spicy. Yep, I feel that kick coming in. And this bean paste. Ooh, the bean paste is very savory, very, very salty, so be careful if you put too much. Um, but basically what you do is you mix it all together. You can see that I packed my bowl with fresh veggies, get some zucchini, lettuce, bean sprout, all the good stuff. Also some side dishes you can get, the pickled radish and some kimchi. All right, let's stir this baby up. Da -da, all stirred up. You can see the rice starting to turn red. And yes, that's when you know the sauce is getting all nice and coated on the rice. It's time for the taste. And I'm gonna get a spoonful and check that out. There's so much goodness on here. Ready? Mmm. Mmm, yum, yum. I'm really glad I did like a half and half with the bean and the spicy. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you're supposed to eat it. Maybe some people just prefer one, but it tastes so good. When I was much younger and I didn't know much about like Korean food, I used to think this was the blandest dish ever because I would look at it and just be like, it's just rice with some veggies. Boy, and was I totally wrong. It's packed full of flavor. I mean, in one spoon, you get like crunch from the vegetable, you get chew from the meat, and then you get the fluffy rice. It's a wonderful bite. Mm. I'm gonna get some of this pickle on there for that nice crunchiness. Yes. Simple, refreshing. If you don't want it to be that heavy, just don't put a lot of rice. And if you're veggie friendly, if you're vegetarian, then you know, just skip out on the ground meat. Besides that, like this is just awesome. And the best part about this place is that you can get this whole meal for 7,000 won. Yep. Oh wait, when I say this whole meal, I mean like this meal and then if you want more, you just keep getting more. Yeah, just finished. Okay, honestly I would have gone for second or thirds, but I have to go to another all you can eat place. I think these places are very much catered to students. They're very cheap and you can get a huge meal. And it's also so nice for us travelers because some of us are on a budget. So it's nice to be like walking around this area, exploring and then coming here for a quick and filling lunch that's also delicious and cheap. Then we're going to the next spot to get some rice cake. Let's go. Oh my god, they're little flowers. Okay, now look 
of them. Mm, I like them long, so let's get a couple of these. Ooh, this one's extra thick and extra long, you guys. This fish thick. We are in the second restaurant and oh my goodness, I should have filmed this like on two separate days because they're both all you can eat and like I want to fill this pot up with a ton of stuff but I know I can't finish it and also they charge you if you can't finish it. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to make this as epic as possible but when you guys come with your friends, you can fill up this whole pot. You can go ham because it's all you can eat. If you pay for it, you you get the most out of your money. If you're worried that you don't speak Korean, it's okay because when you enter, they actually give you this like English menu right here. And it shows you exactly the steps and also what each of the things are. So this is like a personal bowl that you use to eat. Um, this one is for all of the ingredients. And this one is for the sauce. Yes, basically the broth get boiled you get all your sauce ingredients, and once the broth is boiled, you just pour it all in. You just sprinkle that shiz. Yep, and then once you're done, you're done, and then you can keep going for more. And it's still not epic looking enough yet, but you guys, I'm not trying to die and explode and then pay for all the things that I don't finish. Already this cheese fondue on the side, it looks ridiculous. Now corn cheese is one of my absolute favorite things to get at any Korean place. <laughs> it's so good. So we're gonna wrap this cheese in this rice cake right here. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, that's really good. The rice cake is really gooey, really chewy. Especially if you boil it for a while, it just gets really, really soft. And that cheese just adds that layer of savoriness that you need. It's so good. More of this cheese. Mine is already burnt, but when it first came, it was like sizzling. It was awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm. The rice cake is so chewy and it's warm and it's just soft in your mouth. It's delicious. We're gonna get some of this ramen right here. Yes. And we're gonna put it in my bowl. I feel like a true mukbanger with this setup in Korea too. <laughs> we're gonna try some of the ramen noodles with the rice cake. Yum. So good. Mm. Mm. You're wondering like what sauce to put into your soup. There's actually a little sauce guide over there that tells you exactly you want to put two scoops of this and one scoop of this. I went for the ultra spicy because you know I like my spice. I like that burn in the butthole. Um, and this was super, super good. I actually wish the, the soup consistency was a little bit more sticky and I think it's my key because I didn't add um, a lot of the second sauce which was thicker, but this is still really delicious and it has a bit of a sweetness to it. Grab this giant piece, dip it in some of this soup. Mm. Mm. Inside this rice cake is like corn and I think a little bit of cheese. I don't know, but I love that. I thought it was fish cake, but I guess not. It's yummy. I love that they have different style of rice cake. Look at this long one. Yes, girl. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll stop playing with my food, sorry. We are almost finishing this pot. I'm doing my best. <laughs> So the 
there you guys go. That was the all-you-can-eat tteokbokki experience. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just like, after I finished, I was looking at all the other tables and I was like, oh my God, they got so much more food and they put in so much more sauce. It was really good though. And it was really cool to experience this. It's nice to know there's all-you-can-eat places like the bimbimbap and the tteokbokki because most of the time people only really talk about like all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. But it's cool that they have places like this. And honestly, all the people in both restaurants, they're all locals. So you know that this is a pretty good spot. This is a chain restaurant, so just a couple of these are out the cities in case you're looking for like a cheap filling lunch and you want to experience a little bit of Korean cuisine. And all of that only cost 8,900 won. For the cheese fondue though, that's like 4,000 more. Yeah. Um, get the cheese fondue if you have a friend. Otherwise, it's, it's quite a lot. <laughs> it's part of the video where I turn it back to you guys and ask which of the all-you-can-eat places would you like to try. And also, if you guys are actually in the city, will you guys let us know if there are other places besides KPBQ, besides these places that's like all-you-can-eat and cheap and delicious? Let us know in the comments below. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you guys so much. So far, I need to go walk this off. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Ah! Drop my stuff. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah. If you guys slice me open, I just bleed gochujang sauce.